The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session, Account Reconciliations with OneStream Software. My name is Michelle Morrill, and I'm MindStream Analytics Marketing Director. Before I introduce our presenters today, I'd like to point out that this session is being recorded. If you'd like a copy of the webinar recording or the PowerPoint presentation, please let us know. Also, you are in listen-only mode, so to ask a question during the webinar, please type it into the question box. You'll see it over on the right-hand side, um, and we'll be sure to reach out to you after the presentation um, and answer any questions you may have. Our presenters today are Seth Landau, Executive Vice President at Mindstream Analytics, followed by Christine Kennedy, Solutions Consultant at OneStream Software. Seth, if you are ready, please take it away. Thank you very much, Michelle. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our webinar series. I hope everyone had a very nice Thanksgiving. For those of you who were able to join a, about a month ago, we had done a, an account reconciliations presentation on the Oracle products, but today we want to focus on account reconciliation with OneStream. And I think there's some, some great features that we'll find uh, quite exciting. So just very quickly about who MindStream is. We are a professional services and managed services organization, which we are focused on strate strategic design and implementation of performance management and business intelligence solutions. As you can see, we are, we are a US-based company, but we have a global reach, global presence, especially with our managed services all across the world. We have many different alliances and partnerships throughout, uh, throughout the US and abroad. Our consultants have a, an average of 10 years plus of functional expertise and really for the, for the senior management uh, go beyond 20 years apiece. And as you can see, we have expertise across multiple domains. So we are really consultants to the consultants as well as to our clients. We are a, uh, a dedicated and very involved partner of OneStream. And we also uh, are very focused with Oracle as well. But uh, as you can see, our partnerships really expand beyond that as well. Beside OneStream and Oracle, we also uh, work with IBM and many other technology leaders. Just a little bit about myself. I am, I've been with the company since inception. I focus on the financial close practice, which includes consolidations, reporting, account reconciliation, close management, tax reporting, et cetera. I have over 20 years of finance, CPM, and operations management skills, and really are, have been focused on the business process and financial system implementation. So what are we gonna talk about today? Account reconciliation, what is really the reality today with that? And what are the impediments to a good account reconciliation process? We'll talk a little bit about the close cycle and how account reconciliation falls into that and really ways to streamline this process. Ultimately, what is the best tool to accomplish all this? And this is where we're going to focus on the reconciliation control manager with OneStream and it is my pleasure to be able to co-present this with Christine this afternoon. And then once that, once we go through that, Christine will take over and give you a, an in-depth demo of the Reconciliation Control Manager product. So what's today's reality? Account reconciliation is often an afterthought and really not a main focus of finance and accounting. So a lot of times, you know, they'll be focused on the consolidation, on the reporting, just getting the numbers out. But the account reconciliation sometimes doesn't get ignored, but it gets sometimes overlooked in terms of the priority. From a compliance perspective, certainly with Sarbanes, Oxley, and other controls, it's become more prevalent in the last 15 years. And really reporting of material weaknesses and misstatements are, are looked upon um, much more closely by auditors. The pressure to speed up the financial close and focus on analysis has certainly grown by the CFO, controllers, you know, by the senior management. Disparate legacy systems make it very difficult 
to track proper activity, both balance and transactional, especially at the subledger level. External auditors, of course, are very costly and time consuming. Um, and really with a with a thorough account reconciliation, that can go a long way to, to reducing this because in terms of you know, for your financial close, for your consolidation, getting your numbers loaded, getting, you know, it'll reduce adjustments, various things like that. And of course, the external auditor with these new compliance controls can no longer serve really as the internal control point. So we have to be the, the finance team, the consolidation team has to make sure that they have these, these numbers uh, in place before the external auditor comes on board. So what are impediments to a good AR process? Often very manually driven. Most are using Excel, extensive spreadsheets, certainly prone to errors, formula errors, data errors. The centralization across the organization can certainly lead to multiple processes that don't sync well with the corporate team. So you have a lot of disparate processes between what's going on in the field at the regional level or other levels and with the corporate level. Lack of workflow control, the preparer reviewer, the final approver, if you have a peer review or a management review. Lack of built-in checks to ensure validation. So this is, you know, when you have Excel, of course you're building these manually, but a lot of times, you know, if things get moved around, it, it's hard to, to keep track. Too easy to plug differences. And no automation or very little automation quickly approves zero balance accounts. So if your account reconciliation has, you know, 50% of them are, are zero balance, you want to be able to quickly, you know, pass those off as approved. And li limited visibility to material exposures. So really this, this is one area where, you know, a, a key piece of the reconciliation process. Ledgers are kept open well past the end of the period, so a lot of times that can cause issues with the reconciliation. Uh, lesser sense of urgency, so again, usually the focus is more on consolidations and, and the reporting process. And lack of understanding between balance compliance and what we call transaction matching, so it's the level of detail and how you're going about doing those reconciliations. So from a typical closed cycle process, you can see you know, we load in data from whether it's a flat file, whether it's outsourced, your general ledger, subledger detail, and it goes right in, you know, in, in, in our industry, certainly it goes right into the, to the consolidation system or an Excel process, whatever you're using to do the consolidation. You have your disclosures, and then kind of going around in the background, you have the reconciliation process, certifications, and all of that. But if you look at it from a linear perspective, consolidate, disclose, report. The other pieces sometimes can get pushed a bit in the background. So there's no end-to-end -end visibility, in inefficient communication. You can see that with all of these different groups, different departments, different you know uh, stakeholders, it becomes difficult to communicate between all of them. So there's no standardized global process and which leads to unnecessary lags of time and, and guessing. And usually a lot of email, that doesn't always get to everybody. So it, it's certainly a, a drop in the communication cycle. So you can see here, you know, as we have highlighted the reconciliation and disclosure process, and that's really where these tools come into play. And with one stream, which we'll be focused on today, it talks about one solution that does all of this. So there's no gap in your process. There's no moving data between systems. There's no, you know, lack of, of the process or the workflow for these, these areas. So this, this is really the true focus. So account reconciliation management typically represents a significant area for optimization. So as you can see here, again, we close the general ledger, work through the consolidations, financial statement analysis, all of these things that are critical to the reporting cycle. But as you can see, reconciliations takes up a you know extensive period of time. And certainly if you have reconciling items, you have exposures, you have different things, it can lead into many cycles, not just one period. 
So this is really where the automation and the proper workflow and tracking is really critical to make this work. So what are the myths? Highly educated finance personnel are working on value-added activities. Well, I think some of them are, certainly, but unfortunately, when you're spending so much of your time trying to just get the numbers to tie and get everything in, the value add, the analysis, really understanding the business and what's driving that, is it's hard to have time to really focus on that when you're spending so much time on the numbers. And again, expensive controllers, FP&A professionals are spending two thirds of their time or more on low value information. So again, getting all of that together, getting the numbers, the reporting, but not really being able to take the time to understand and get the information needed to, to help you know, manage the business. So why account reconciliation? Trying to build that consistency in the flow between the balance sheet and the income statement. Early warning, so preventative measures, you know, being proactive, that is really critical for, for making all of this work. Cleaning up the accounts certainly will help in terms of, you know, having your ledger tie and your sub detail. Accountability, compliance, and certainly your audit requirements. And then from a risk mitigation standpoint, you know, a risk of inconsistent reports of noncompliance, ultimately, you know, in some cases fraud, but really from a compliance perspective, this is where it, it comes into play greatly. So how do we streamline this? Well, there's many different ways, but the first way suggestion is charting out your workflow. So how do you categorize, categorize your reconciliations? What kind of account types? How do you go about this? Because it's different level of details, you know, different groups are, are preparing and reviewing these. Have good checks and balances with your preparers reviewers. So make sure they're communicating, they understand each other. Auto reconcile your zero balance accounts or set proper tolerances. And this is where it's, it's really critical as far as the automation. Have a proper tracking mechanism so the attributes to sort those reconciling items. Institute a set schedule to prepare, review, remediate those reconciliations. In many cases, having a good peer or management review process for post audit analysis can help with improving these processes as you move forward. And have electronic documentation as backup detail that you can attach to the system and, and to these reconciliations. And of course, with that comes the technology. You know, one, make sure you're, you have a good solid general ledger package that tracks that sub ledger detail and can be easily brought into to the application package for reconciliation, which is where the automation comes in. From a communication standpoint, again, it's really critical to make sure that the manager is articulating what the review of that is, a reconciliation or group of them, beyond just making sure the format is proper. And of course, the preparing reviewer should be communicating and making sure they understand exactly the process and, and what they're what they're working on. So they also want to understand how this activity will ultimately roll into the financial statements. So the preparer articulates the purpose of the account, how the supporting documentation will relate, and the nature of those reconciling items. So just to review a little bit, complete completeness. So again, details such as cash and banks, a cash detail report can be a lot more expensive extensive than maybe an account receivable or an inventory or something else. Accruals, prepayments, provisions, reusable templates, and that's where, again, automation comes in well. So automate what you can. If you can have sub-ledger detail that's coming from a system as, as opposed to input or manual input, that can certainly help with the auto reconciliation process. Mapping a local ledger, and again, setting tolerances so you're not you know, worried about a $10 or a $100 overage, you know, depending, it could be a $500, $1,000, but set those proper tolerances and make sure that the workflow is set up properly because, again, to guarantee every step is followed along the way. So you have that, in the end, unbreakable segregation of duties. You have those check and balances, but it flows very well because you have that communication and that process set up. So from a traditional approach to account reconciliation, 
you have these standalone, a lot of times you have standalone reconciliation products. So as you go through and you load in your general ledger and then you send it through your extract transformation and load process to validate the data and transform it into what will ultimately get loaded into your target system, you end up loading it into there, but then to get it into something that can do account reconciliation, you have to take that data and load it somewhere else, right, into a siloed product. So that's where data, again, it, you know, we, we build integrations to be able to, to mitigate this risk. However, it's never 100% as opposed to having it in one cohesive system that never has to leave the system. And that's really where one stream you know, provides a differentiation. So how do we best accomplish this? Well, one stream, again, they have one tool, one solution. You know, you, you can add on modules within that one solution, but it's all one solution. So you never have to take data out of your system and put it into another system. And that's really the, the critical piece. No movement. It's one license. And again, there's no add-on application. It's an add-on module that fits within your application within OneStream. So what is the OneStream approach? So again, as you load in the data, you have these different tags, and Christine will get a lot more into the detail of this. You have your definitions of your reconciliations, which will also you know, feed from a consolidation perspective. So really, again, this is all coming into one, and in the end, you have one set of, of financial reports that can give you all the detail you need on your reconciliations, your consolidation, other reporting, management reporting, internal reporting, et cetera. So you can see here, it goes through the GL, that you calculate consolidations, and then it also pushes to the, to the reconciliations. So really, it's, it's a circle you know, it's one thing is, is feeding the other, and it, it's always, you know, a continuous workable flow. So just quickly on a, from a preview perspective, so as you can see here, from a reconciliation, there's really five major areas that make one stream really unique. So from a risk management reporting standpoint, so really it, it includes a risk adjusted balance sheet and, and gives you a lot of statistics and, and information to help manage that risk management profile. Drill to, so you know you link those balances and reconcile accounts all the way back to your you know to your financial statements to your initial source system. So really it's it's again the one stop shopping. Trial bound single sourcing. So again, there's never any disconnects between what you're reconciling and what you ultimately report. And then, of course, the workflow, the process control, it's one workflow that, you know, that sets you throughout the entire process, the entire life cycle. It's not something you have to set up in one system and then set up again differently in another. Which ultimately leads to the single point of maintenance. So that metadata and the mappings that you're doing you only have to do once. In another system, you would have to do that for consolidation system. You would also have to do that for the account reconciliation system. And for that matter, if you're doing any planning, you know, or budgeting, planning, forecasting, same thing. It's all one solution. So just quickly, a, a recap on the benefits of account reconciliation. You have full insight into the complete process and required activities, increased quality of reporting through a, a, a risk-based and risk-adjusted approach, reduce that effort in the monitoring compliance because you can leverage what you've already set up. There's one centralized area of that integrity of your you know, master data, which leads to you know, your metadata and ultimately your reconciliations, consolidation process, et cetera a collaborative workflow driven process for full end to end processes or CTM processes. And again, once you have one stream, it's free for existing customers to add on these modules. So if you want account reconciliation, you add it on, there's no additional cost for that. And it's very quick to deploy because once you bring it in, you already have 
you know, the, the foundation to, to move forward with it. So with that, we're going to get to really the exciting part of today, which is the Smart CPM One Stream Reconciliation Manager demo. And Christine will get a lot more into this just quickly about Christine, and she can certainly talk a lot better about herself. But she's a solution consultant with OneStream, very experienced in the financial close, consolidation, account reconciliation process. She's been doing this for many years and also has an extensive audit background. So it's great to have Christine with us today, and I appreciate the time she's spending to take us through this demo. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Christine to give the demo. Perfect. Well, thank you, Seth. Today, we'll be going through one of OneStream's Marketplace Solutions account reconciliations. But first, we're going to do a quick little background on OneStream software and who we are. At OneStream, customer success drives everything that we do. And to accomplish that, we think that you need to do a couple things pretty well. First, you need to have a great product. And to get a great product, you have to have domain experts, and you also have to be able to support your customers from the point of implementation and after the fact. But you also need to make it easily accessible for your customers to get the software. So OneStream software is a single application delivering multiple solutions for your corporate finance systems. Um, you have core functionality that you can extend through marketplace solutions, account reconciliations being one of those. And our founders, Bob Powers and Tom Shea, really are domain experts in the industry. Bob Powers created HFM, one of the leading products for consolidations out on the market, but he also headed up Hyperion's research and development for several years. Tom Shea invented Upstream, which is now one of the best in class data integration tools out on the market. OneStream software is fanatical about our tech support. Um, it is 24 seven single tier. And what that means for our customers is that when you submit a ticket, whoever responds to that ticket is going to see it through resolution. So you're not getting past or having your ticket escalated across many different departments. But we've also be, been independently benchmarked in the top 99%, meaning that when our customers submit a ticket, they're getting a response within 20 minutes. And lastly, the flexibility. A lot of the products on the market now are making you choose between cloud and on-prem, and with OneStream, it's the same product. We give you the flexibility to go in the cloud or on-prem, and it's easily movable, so you can start on-prem and move to the cloud. So how did OneStream come about? OneStream came from the corporate performance solution. So a lot of companies out there are going to have some software that may handle their consolidation reporting or budget and planning, but they may have Excel silos that are doing the account reconciliation. But with that comes a need for metadata management between each of those systems, whether it's Excel or a Hyperion, and then also data integration, making sure that you're actually reconciling the data that you reported on for your actuals, but then having the reconciliation of that data in real time. <clears throat> and each of these levels of movement creates risk for those end users, making sure your metadata, your data, and that integration is all in sync. And that's where OneStream comes into play. OneStream is a single solution, one product, one application. The core functionality includes the data integration, the budget planning, financial consolidation, and reporting all within one tool. And we give you the ability to extend that platform through the OneStream marketplace. The OneStream marketplace has over 30 applications available to extend the functionality of the core platform. Each of these um, marketplace solutions are going to come with a UI and out-of-the-box reporting. And again, as Seth mentioned, all of these solutions are free to existing OneStream customers. So account reconciliation has been one of the top five downloaded 
marketplace solutions um, that we offer here at OneStream. <clears throat> and from a 10,000 foot level, some of the functionality that's offered through our account reconciliations is <clears throat> with keeping your metadata and data all within one system. So you're not having to deal with the risks of making sure your metadata is up to date or the data is actually what you reported on for your actuals. And that also means that as your balances change for actuals, you're getting those updated results in your account reconciliation tool. So there's no lapse in data migration between different silos or products because it's all existing within one application. And it automatically brings in new accounts that were added to your metadata. So again, limiting the risks that you may have from a legacy system. We also have group reconciliations and auto reconciliations to help automate the reconciliation process um, within the tool. There are various levels of approval and various types of users that you can set up for your account reconciliation solution. And we'll go through this in just a minute. And in addition to the UI we give you and all of the functionality, you're gonna get some built-in reporting right out of the box. So at this point in time, we're gonna jump into the application. So when you download the Marketplace solution, you just have to upload it into your existing OneStream application, and it's already gonna utilize the core functionality to give you what you see here. The user interface is what we're gonna go through first. You're gonna have the ability to toggle between different types of users. You may be a preparer and an approver for different reconciliations. This process recon button is going to give you the ability to update reconciliations um, for your task over here. And this is going to keep track of your users total reconciliation count and the process in which each of those reconciliations is at. So you'll see that you can have completed, auto reconciled, rejected, balance changed and in process. This balance changed is really critical because that really highlights the data integration that OneStream offers our end users in the fact that once you've updated your actuals and hit process recons, this balance change is going to go check to see if any of those balances for prior reconciled accounts have been changed. So we're giving that information to your end users very quickly, very easily. And then over here on the right, you see the number of approved and unapproved for the given workflow period. <clears throat> And then we also have some options for the user to toggle between their reconciliations and reconciliations that are applicable for the given workflow period. Over here on the left hand side, we'll see a drop down list for all of the reconciliation groups that we've assigned within our application. The various statuses that a reconciliation may be in. And then you can also toggle between the various approval layers that we have within the application. There are 10 different levels of approvals in addition to auto reconciled. When you highlight a specific reconciliation, you'll see the account and the account type as it applies to your metadata within one stream. So this is automatically populated based upon your metadata. You'll see the source account based on the mapping that you've created within OneStream, the target entity and the source entity in which it is derived from. Each reconciliation can have a varying risk level assigned to it. The proper signage is going to be correlated to any mapping. So if anyone is using a legacy system now, the reporting currency is typically changed for liability and revenue type accounts. And we just wanna highlight that for the end users. The due date is something that would be admin maintained that's going to give the users a calendar day to deliver reconciliations. So at that point, you're able to monitor the process throughout the entire application and reconciliation process for your entire business. Below, you'll see the balance for the given account, the unexplained amount and the explained amount and the activity for the given period. And because we are still utilizing the core functionality of OneStream software, we're going to have all of the audit capability that comes with OneStream and the workflow process that drives that. So you can see the status by username and timestamp and the approver as it moves through the reconciliation process. 
For any given reconciliation, you're going to have a properties icon down here at the bottom. So if you need to review the type of reconciliation, the risk level, or if it's set as an auto rec, that property tab is going to give that information to you. We've also enhanced the product to include an all audit function, which is giving you the ability to create a zip file for your auditors that incorporates all of your reconciliations. As we move over here to the right, the reconciliation detailed items are going to be the detailed items that apply to a given reconciliation. And that's where these icons here just below are going to come into play. If you have any particular items from a prior period, we can pull those items forward. If they're manually inputted items, you could segregate by that or bring in template items from a prior period. Um, at this point in time, we're just going to bring over everything from the prior period and show the updated amount um, for a balance sheet correcting item. <clears throat> With OneStream's account reconciliation tool, we do provide you some out-of-the-box templates. These can be configured to fit any reconciliation you may create. Um, they can be single reconciliation or they can be multi-period reconciliations, and that's where our SDOC comes into play. For any given reconciliation, you're going to have the ability to view the history and also add commentary. If there has been prior period or prior activity commentary left for a reconciliation, this will be highlighted red so your end users know that there's been commentary left either by a preparer or by a viewer or commentator within the system. We've also added some enhancements for additional reporting capability. So you're able to see the local functional currency that you may be reconciling, but then also the translated amount based on some of these report selections here. And then again, that audit button to be able to easily extract the reconciliation detailed items for any auditors that may need some of the backup or additional detail. For any reconciliation, you can include supporting documents. We allow for two different types of document documentation, the first being a reconciliation doc. This is going to apply to the entire reconciliation. The second being an item or an IDOC is referencing a single item within your detailed items here. And because, again, the data integrations built in and the audit capabilities, at any point in time, you can go to historical periods and view the documentation that was attached to a given reconciliation. To complete the reconciliation here, I could manually insert a row <clears throat> or I can export this to a template. At this point in time, we'll go ahead and add this item in here. We can add our correcting amount of 28 million. The type is going to be defined by each of our customers. So you can have varying types of reconciliation detail items. The item name and notes are going to be unique dynamic fill fields that you can update. We can go ahead and update this information and it's going to populate the explained balance with that 28 million that we just applied here. And at this point, I can go ahead and set this reconciliation to completed. Once that's been marked as completed, because my end user does not have approval capabilities, it's going to be sent to the approver. At that point, they'll receive an email notification that says that there's a reconciliation to be approved and that'll show in their account reconciliation view. As we navigate to a different account reconciliation, we'll go to our machinery and equipment. <clears throat> the machinery and equipment is based upon a group reconciliation. So when I highlight this here, we're still able to see the balance and activity for the given period, but we now have an option down here at the bottom for child recs. And this is going to bring in all of the underlying detail for the reconciliations or accounts that make up our group reconciliation. So trying to provide those end users with all of that underlying information that makes up those group reconciliations. And finally, we'll go to our trade payable account. Because OneStream has a very strong data integration, we do allow for our end users to connect to subledgers and bring in that detail. So when we hit our AP trade, we'll notice that this has a little bit different look and feel than the other recs that we've looked at so far. This is something we call as a balance check. 
So when I go to our balance check, it's going to take us to our stage window. And for those of you who have used OneStream in the past, the stage is where we import data into the system and transform it or validate it. So we're going to do a load and transform. This is using our direct connect technology to link it directly back to our accounts payable system. You can load a flat file or use a direct connect to get back to that sub ledger detail. But at that point, you're still going to have that drill down functionality that's inherent. So once you have that reconciliation detailed items, you're going to be able to review that and report on it within the system. For those of you who are unfamiliar with our stage, anytime data is loaded into the system, you're going to have a username and timestamp, um, really creating that audit path within the system. For this given reconciliation, we're going to go in and validate these amounts here. When I hit the validate, it's going to aggregate those values. And then I'm going to return back to my reconciliation and bring that information forward and pull that balance check item into my detailed items list. And that balance check is going to be my supporting documentation for this given reconciliation. So at that point in time, I can go ahead and complete this reconciliation and then send it to the approver. So in addition to the reconciliation items that we see here, we also have in the box reporting. So I'm going to go up to my icon here to look at some of the dashboarding that's provided to our customers out of the box with this marketplace solution. It's going to be populated based on the number of reconciliations that are assigned to my user. So I had 89 reconciliations. I can look at the various information here to see all of my completed reconciliations or go to the right hand side and look at my top 50 reconciliations and then I can toggle between the various risk levels I've assigned to them within the solution. As we tab over we have a couple different dashboards and then this explorer pivot. The explorer pivot gives you a lot of functionality to toggle between your various reports and also give you easy filtering access to any of your reconciliations. Anywhere within the application you see these filters you're able to drag and drop columns here to filter on all of your completed or in process reconciliation. So you can really see that underlying detail and start filtering on the information and check the approval process for any given reconciliation. You also have a few drop downs here at the top to get you down to that precise reconciliation view that you'd like to see. The listing reports are again these out of the box reports that we're providing to these end users where you can toggle between the various status, auto reconcile, and then it's going to take you directly to those reconciliations. As you move through these reports, you're going to see additional detail um, based on the detailed line items for any given reconciliation. And as you go up the management chain and reconciliations are being approved and prepared, this prepare listing is going to give you the detail by user of who are doing the reconciliations and what reconciliations have been completed at that point in time. <clears throat> and the access group listing is going to give you the security that is um, set up directly in our account rec solution. So you can have users that only have access to account recs or they have ac access across the board within your OneStream application. The risk management reports are an enhancement that we brought up recently where you have the ability to look at varying reconcilia re reconciliation item types. <clears throat> we also have a reconciliation risk analysis, which is just going to give you the ability to toggle between the risk levels you've set for any given type of report. And then our reconciliation item aging. So this gives you the history of any given reports over time. So in addition to the Explorer Pivot history report, you have the ability to look at the aged reconciliation item aging here under risk management. And because all of this information in the account rec solution lives within your OneStream application, that means you can report on it in more formalized reporting. So as we go over here to the OneStream's guided reporting, we'll take a look at our balance sheet risk management report. And using guided reporting, we can talk between various business units um, or look at other reports that we've set up for our CFO user to go in and look at. 
but these are not just flat files or flat reports. They have that drill down capability that comes with one stream. So I could look at my cash deposits and it's going to show me all of the reconciliations as they apply to that given line item. So I can see here that that 10,001 account where I entered the bank statement correctment for 28 million is now populated. So that seamless integration of getting data into the system, reconciling all in one place, really giving a new level of quality to your data and to the office of the CFO. So for now, that's what we're gonna show you for account reconciliation. At this point, I'm gonna pass it back to Michelle. Thank you everyone for attending today. Um, our contact information is right there on the screen. So please reach out to us if you have any questions for Seth or Christine, or to learn more about Mindstream Analytics and OneStream software. Also, um, be sure to let us know if you like a copy of today's presentation. Um, we can also send along the webinar recording. Um, we appreciate your time today, and I hope everybody has a great afternoon. Thank you.